हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल इंजीनियर्स एकेडमी काइंडली सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल फॉर द सॉल्यूशन ऑफ सच प्रॉब्लम्स नाउ आई एम गोइंग टू सॉल्व दिस प्रॉब्लम इन दिस प्रॉब्लम इट इज सेड दैट इन रेजिंग द पोल फ्रॉम द पोजीशन शोन राइट सो वी हैव दिस पोल एंड वी वांट टू रेज दिस पोल फ्रॉम दिस पोजीशन राइट एंड इट इज सेड दैट द टेंशन टी इन द केबल मस्ट अप्लाई अ मोमेंट अबाउट ओ of 72 kilo newton meter right so this much moment is required to raise this pole right so we can say that the moment at point o is equal to 72 kilo newton meter and we are required to determine the tension t in the cable right so how much tension t is required to to have this much moment at this point o so for this again we will apply the moment at point o equals to the r cross f formula right so this is the moment formula and then we need to we need to apply this r perpendicular into f r f perpendicular into r right so we have these three formulas right three different forms of this same formula right so either we need to find the perpendicular distance of this uh, t from this point o or either we have to find the perpendicular force to that r right we are given this 30 meters length from this point o and this point of application of this t right so if we find the component of this t which is perpendicular to this length this 30 meter length so then we will be able to find the moment the, then we will be able to find that t by using this formula right so moment will be equal to f perpendicular into r right so now the task in this problem is that we need to find the perpendicular component of this t with this r right and the distance of this t from this point o is given which is 30 meter right so if if i say that this will be uh, f perpendicular we do not know that yet and r is 30 meters and we are given that this moment about o is 72 kilo newton meter right so this is the equation that we will be going to apply right so let's say that this is equation 1 so now to find the perpendicular component of this t so let me represent that component first right so the perpendicular component of this t will be acting like this right and let's say that this is that f perpendicular so we need to have the magnitude of this f perpendicular so for this we need to have this angle the angle of this t with this uh, pole right so let's say that this angle is alpha right and let's say that this angle is theta right and now if i draw a vertical line from this point let's say so now if you want to find this theta so then we can use this triangle let's say that this is a b and c let's say this point is c so now from this abc triangle we can find this theta but first we need to have this ob length right so to find this ob length first we need to look at this obc triangle right so we know this 30 meter length and we know this 60 degree angle so then this means that this ob length is the cos component of this 30 meters right so then this means that this ob length is 30 cos of 60 degrees and similarly this bc length is 30 sin of 60 degrees and now to find this theta we will apply tan theta to this outer triangle this abc triangle right so now if i write that tan theta will be equal to so this perpendicular so this is 30 sin of 60 degrees divided by the base of this triangle this outside triangle abc triangle so the base is 12 plus 30 cos of 60 right so 12 plus 30 cos of 60 degree and if we apply tan inverse so that will give us theta right so theta will be equal to tan inverse of this ratio so from this equation we find that this theta is 43.90 degrees so now we know this theta which is 43.90 degrees and now we need to find this alpha right so if if we find the summation of the all angles of this outside triangle so that summation of all angles will be equal to 180 degrees right so as we can see that we have this theta then there is perpendicular and then we have this whole angle right and if this is 60 degree if we consider this obc triangle so then if 
if this is 60 degrees so then this angle is 30 degree right this angle is 30 degrees so then this whole angle will be 30 plus uh, this alpha angle right so now for the outer triangle for triangle ABC we can say that theta plus this 90 degrees plus this whole angle this 30 plus alpha will be equal to 180 degrees right since these are the angles of a triangle right now we know this theta as well so from this equation we can find angle alpha right so now i can write that this is we can say that alpha will be equal to 180 minus 90 minus 30 and minus theta and theta is this much right so this theta is 43 0.90 degrees. So, this alpha angle comes out to be 16.1 degrees, right? So, now if we resolve this T force into its components, right? So, it will have two components. It will have one component in this direction. Let me draw that. It will have one component along this pole, right? And it will have one component in this direction, right? So, this is that component, right? So, this component, as we can see that the line of action of this component is passing through this point O. So, it will not produce the moment about this point O. So, only this component, this perpendicular component of this T will be able to produce that moment about point O. So, now from if we know this alpha, so then from this alpha we can say that that F perpendicular is T sine of alpha, right? And and t is unknown but the alpha is known right so we can say that f perpendicular is t sine of 16.1 degrees right so now we can substitute this f perpendicular value in this equation right so i can write that t sine of 16.1 degrees into 30 is equal to 72 kilo newton meter right so now we can find t value so t value is 72 divided by 30 sine of 16.1 degrees so t comes out to be 8.65 kilo newton right and this is the tension t which will be required to apply this much moment to raise this pole right so this is the solution of this particular problem